What's going on guys, Nature Boy here. Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a great day and staying safe. If you guys are looking for 200 calorie meal ideas or 200 calorie snack ideas that will keep you full for quite some time, well, you're in the right video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys five meals that I personally like to make on the side, obviously with a lot more calories because I'm trying to gain weight, but this is dense down to 200 calories. And you know what guys, after looking at these five meals, I figured out that these five meals work perfectly in a thousand calorie meal plan. So if you guys are looking for a thousand calorie meal plan, well, there's a lot of them on this channel, but these five meals work perfectly in a thousand calorie meal plan. Other than that, whether you guys are trying to fit your thousand calorie meal plans or you're looking for 200 calorie meal ideas or snacks, well, you're in the right video. Let's get into it. All I ask in return guys is a like and subscribing. That's it. Oh, and by the way, I do have subscribers that follow me because they want to get ideas for gaining weight. At the end of every meal, I'm gonna put some alternatives and some things you guys can add to the meal plans to increase your calories, to maybe 400, 500, 600 calories. So hard gainers, my skinny guys out there, I haven't forgot about you. So um, yeah, I got you covered. By the way, guys, all macros and calories are to the dot. So everything is exact. All right, let's start. So the first meal that we have here is eggs with some veggies. We're gonna start off with two boiled eggs and it has about 12 grams of protein, two grams of carbs and 10 grams of fat. Total of 146 calories. Then we're gonna get 120 grams of cucumbers and this has about one gram of protein, five grams of carbs and two grams of fiber. 24 calories and then we're going to get 12 grams of tomatoes and this has about one gram of protein five grams of carbs two grams of fiber and total of 24 calories the total calories for this meal is 194 calories i know we're six calories short on this guys you can just increase a little bit from the cucumber or tomatoes is no problem. The total macros for this meal is 14 grams of protein, 12 grams of carbs, 10 grams of fats, and four grams of fiber. And this meal should keep you full for about an hour and a half to two hours, depending on your metabolism. The boiled eggs are very slow digesting because it has high healthy fats. You're also getting a lot of fiber from the cucumber and tomatoes. It's a recipe for fullness. Now for my hard gainers or my skinny guys that are trying to gain weight, I would say you should fry the three eggs in one tablespoon of olive oil and have a banana. That should give, that should give you an extra 300 calories and this meal should be around 500 calories for you guys delicious moving on to the second meal guys and this meal is very very simple it's banana and peanut butter so we're going to be getting one banana and one banana is one gram of protein 24 grams of carbs and three grams of fiber we're going to go ahead and chop these banana up we're going to get one tablespoon of peanut butter and one tablespoon of peanut butter has four grams of protein three grams of carbs eight grams of fats healthy fats and one gram of fiber which is about 100 calories and we're gonna go ahead and get one tablespoon worth of peanut butter and we're just gonna put it bit by bit onto the banana as you guys see here and guys it's completely delicious it's so good and it's just yummy it's just really it's a wonderful snack to have it's very filling and it's just delicious. The total calories here, guys, is 200 calories with the macros being five grams of protein, 27 grams of carbs, eight grams of fats, and three grams of fiber. And this should keep you full for about an hour to an hour and a half. It's absolutely filling. This is high fiber, high fats, very slow digesting. So it should keep you full for, a, for, for quite some time. Now to increase calories on this, you guys can put a glass of whole milk, which is about 250 millimeters, about 150 uh, calories as well as uh, mix that in with one scoop of whey protein which that's another 120 calories total you're slapping on 250 calories onto this making this meal plan around 450 calories with high protein so that's about 500 calories so that's some good stuff now moving on to the third meal and this is one of my favorite meals that i love to make but obviously on a much um higher scale and this one is chicken salad we're gonna be getting 60 grams of chicken breast and this is about 19 grams of protein two grams of fat total of 94 calories we're gonna go ahead and marinate it guys and i know you see um hot sauce here depends on your diet if you guys are very strict with it avoid the hot sauce but if you guys are just trying to you know have fun with your food and you know not taking your diet that seriously then yeah sure you know hot sauce makes the you know chicken breast very very tasty so i do recommend it but the most important ingredient here guys is one teaspoon of olive oil we are baking this chicken breast so it does need some olive oil so why not put in one tablespoon one teaspoon of healthy fatty acids 
virgin olive oil. We're gonna go ahead and marinate that, then bake it. While it's being baked, we're gonna go ahead and make our salad. So first off, we have 20 grams of lettuce. It's literally crunchy water, guys, and there's barely any calories and any micronutrients. This is the macros that I came out with when I squeezed out, when I looked at how much does it really have, and this is it. Protein is about 0.5 grams, carbs is about 0.5 grams, as well as fiber, also 0.5 grams. Total of five calories. It, I mean, it's just it's just crunchy water, guys, but it does have a lot of good stuff. The lettuce is very healthy. Then we're going to put 100 grams of cucumbers. This has about one gram of protein, four grams of carbs, and one gram of fiber, total of 20 calories. Throw in the lovely tomatoes, 100 grams of that, one gram of protein, four grams of carbs, two grams of fiber, then half a cup of broccoli. I know some of you guys might not like broccoli. I love broccoli. It's just, I, I don't know what it is. They, they taste good to me. I know I'm weird, but they, they just taste really good to me. You guys can substitute with broccoli with whatever you want, carrots, onions, whatever it is. But um, half a cup of broccoli is two grams of protein, three grams of carbs, two grams of fiber, and as well as 20 calories. The total calories here is 199 and the macros go like this. 23 and a half grams of protein, 11 and a half grams of carbs, six and a half grams of fats, healthy fats, and five and a half grams of fiber. Very healthy, should keep you full for a solid two hours. So much fiber, so much healthy fats, and you've got a protein in there, which your body will take some time to break down and to uh, digest. Now, to increase the calories in this meal plan, what I like to do is just, obviously, instead of having 60 grams of chicken breast, do the full 100 grams of chicken breast. I would put one tablespoon of olive oil rather than one, rather than one teaspoon of olive oil. And um, I would put um, one tablespoon to two tablespoons of just, you know, salad dressings. That's going to add quite a bit of salaries. And as well as some Caesar biscuits, not biscuits, uh, Caesar chips on it. And this would add maybe 200 calories or maybe more, 250 calories right to your, um, uh, right to this meal. Making this meal about 450 calories to 500 calories. So yeah, bon appetit. Now moving on to the fourth meal. This one is very simple. It's Greek yogurt with banana and strawberries. We're going to start off with 150 grams of plain Greek yogurt. I know it doesn't look like a plain Greek yogurt here, guys. That's because I ran out of plain Greek yogurt. I had the strawberry version. But um, please do use plain Greek yogurt. And this has about 15 grams of protein, 5 grams of carbs, and 1 gram of fat. Total of 89 calories. Then we're going to get 180 grams of strawberries, obviously chopping them up. And this has about 1 gram of protein, 14 grams of carbs, and 4 grams of fiber. That's insane total of 60 calories then we're going to get half a banana and this is about one gram of protein 12 grams of carbs and two grams of fiber total of 52 calories after that you want to go ahead and mix it up making sure that all the banana and the strawberry and the plain greek yogurt get mixed in very very well because every um tablespoon or teaspoon that you take should have both strawberry and banana it's just really good and i i have this personally before i go to bed from time to time because the the protein in the greek yogurt is casein protein so your body takes a lot longer to digest throughout the night and you know you stay anabolic you stay anabolic so you make them gains Bruh. Okay, that's kind of awkward but yeah that's the thing is re it's very healthy it's very healthy the total calories for this meal is 201 and the macros is about 17 grams of protein 31 grams of carbs one gram of fats six grams of fiber and guys this should keep you full for a good an hour and a half to two hours now to increase calories for this one there's not really much i can really do here other than make the half a banana to a full banana make adding another 50 calories to it as well as have a protein shake with it this way it'll add a solid 200 calories right onto this 201 calories making a 400 and it's you know full of protein so that's what i would do with this one moving on to the last and fifth meal it's a strawberry smoothie we're going to be getting 250 millimeters of whole milk and this is about eight grams of protein 12 grams of carbs and eight grams of fats total of 152 calories then we're going to get 150 grams of strawberries again which is about one gram of protein 12 grams of carbs three grams of fiber total of 52 calories and we're just going to go ahead and blend that up and there's some benefits that what this um, smoothie has is that it's full of antioxidants vitamins C, calcium, it's got some protein, but it's high in fiber. Keeps you full for about an hour and a half to two hours if you guys add ice into it. If you guys want to stay fuller with this one, add ice to it. Ice makes it colder and this, it just takes your body a lot longer because it needs to generate more energy and heat to digest it. And that's going to take a bit longer than usual. So if you guys want to be full longer, throw some ice into that. 
um, blender and um, enjoy it. Total calories here is about 204, and the total macros for this one is 9 grams of protein, 24 grams of carbs, 8 grams of fats, and 3 grams of fiber. And for my skinny guys that want to add some calories here to increase it, I would say add one full banana, as well as one strawberry protein powder, one scoop of that, and one tablespoon of peanut butter. This should add another 320 calories, making this meal over 500 calories for you guys. And uh, yeah, and enjoy them gains. So these are 5 200 calorie meal ideas that you guys can make at home under literally less than 20 minutes and be full for about an hour and a half. That sounds like a good deal, right? But yeah, guys, these meals are very healthy for you, really good for you, and I, it does satisfy some taste buds. I'm gonna tell you that right now. It really does satisfy some taste buds. If you guys did enjoy this video, and if you guys are this far, that means you guys did enjoy this video, so go ahead and please give me a like. It'll really help me out and this channel out big time. If you guys want some ideas on a thousand calorie meal ideas, check out this video you guys won't be disappointed and check out my other calorie meal plan videos that you guys will find interesting other than that guys subscribe for more and don't forget to hit the notification bell i'll see you guys in the next video peace